We hey. know it's a house update. Hey, how are you guys doing? Keelan and Hannah here. So, uh, we got broken into on Thursday night. The first time our property, hopefully it'll be the last time, that our property was vandalized by, uh, you know, I guess some local people here. They pretty much came in, they stole all the copper piping, and, uh, you know, basically it was worth two or $3,000 worth of work that we now have to replace. Um, but, yeah, you know, I mean, it's... As it comes to the territory, we're not discouraged. We are going to continue to move forward. Um, you know, Hannah was actually sharing a story about when she was in East Garfield Park, a similar situation happened. Um, you can probably talk a little bit yeah. about that. So uh, the first night that uh, two of the roommates moved in, someone had kicked the door in when they weren't there, and the door wouldn't lock, but they still stayed the night. And the first things one of our neighbor girls asked was, are you still going to stay in? Lauren LaRose said it takes more than this to scare us away and the trust of the building went through the roof uh, with that experience so we're just praying that the same can happen and you know just trying to remember to be gentle as doves but wise as serpents so yep. just to proceed with love and also to be aware that we're coming into a neighborhood that is struggling and there's a lot of um, desperation and um, so, yeah, we're just kind of going in with our eyes open, but still very determined to be here. And if anything, <clears throat> this is more of a reason to stay. So we just see it as a sign of that we're in the right place and doing the right thing. Yep. You know, the Bible says that uh, you're supposed to bless those who curse you or steal your copper piping. <laughs> so, you know, we've just been uh, proclaiming blessings over whoever took it. Um, you know, we believe that opportunities like or situations like these are opportunities to sort of show a Christ perspective of living and uh, love to anybody you know so even though it's going to cost us a lot of money to replace that copper piping um, you know we really look to God as being our source and not man and we mm -hmm. look at his opportunity to sort of love those who are you know trying to take advantage of us or despitefully use us um, and you know what like uh, back in 2009 uh, you know, I was living in Mass at my parents' house, and I remember distinctly asking God to put me on the front lines of whatever he was doing in the earth because, you know, I was bored in Mass. And, I mean, life was comfortable, but I got complacent, and I wanted some action. And I'll tell you what, I'm not bored anymore. We definitely got plenty of action down here in Inglewood. So, you know, we're very excited that, you know, we're actually, uh, you know, our house is almost done. It's probably about 67% done. We should be moving in within the next week or two. Um, and we're not going to let anything deter us, you know, wherever. Well, oh. I was going to say too, uh, the cool thing is our contractor is actually from Inglewood and he went down to his old block, which is just a couple blocks away and, um, asked the guys if they would take a look out for the building. And so they're actually taking shifts and they actually just called him on us saying we had some people just went in the building. We're not sure they're <laughs> supposed to be there. So it's a great way to build relationships too. And so I'm planning to take them cookies as well as a thank you. Yep, we're about to go on our cookie offensive in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Hannah already got her cookie maker mm -hmm. uh, prepared. So, yep, we're pretty excited about it. So, so uh, um, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit, you know, uh, you know, where we're at right now with the property. So, you know, this week they put in some lights. So, we actually got lights now. You know, one step forward. And, uh, yeah, we're just, like, really, really excited. They're going to put up the porch this week. Um, you know, they're going to put in some of the vanities, some of the cabins, things like that. So, yeah, we're just pretty, pretty excited about, uh, you know, where we're at. And even though, you know, we had a minor setback, we just thank God that it didn't devastate us and that we're still able to, you know, move forward with the work. And, you know, it's not going to put us upside down or anything. So we just praise God for that. All right, guys. So just wanted to give you a quick little update of what we're doing. Um, we love you. Love you. Take care. Thanks for the prayers. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.